Welcome again to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, Topaz Studio 2, we're into those really creative filters now in the last section of filters. And today we're looking at the AI Remix filter. This is a really cool filter, and I think you'll agree with me. So uh, we're going to take this autumn scene today, some fall leaves, and turn it into a nice little painterly look using some AI Remix. So let's get started. We're starting out with this nice fall scene of some leaves here. And I'm going to come up here to Add Filter and come down to the Stylistic section and click on the artificial intelligence remix filter or the AI remix. So I'm just going to left click that with my mouse and immediately you see we got a nice artistic look on the screen here. Now let's take a look here at all these little squares here with these different uh, images on them and this is showing us different painterly effects that artificial intelligence is going to use to map into your image and give you a real nice stylistic look uh, to to kind of emulate some of these different like a lot of these are probably like famous paintings and things like that So let's just click on some of these and see what they do All right, and they're pretty wild and Doesn't mean you're gonna keep them this way But you can just click through them and really experiment because there's a lot here So just click them on and you'll notice they all have names like this one's called block party. This one's called blue chalk this one is called broken or i'm sorry broken hue i was going to say but no it's bokeh hue and let's just uh, go down through some of these here let's click on this guy right here cotton candy that's kind of fun this one is called daredevil Ooh, that's fun and let's go through some more there's one down here it's really crazy and i've used it in the past and i liked it where is it let me come down see if i can find it oh this guy right here Violet Night. Look at that. It looks like some raindrops and things like that. I really like that one a lot. So these are all the different styles that you can pick from. Now, of course, we have the opacity slider. We have the blend modes. Now, the blend modes are really going to be your friend with this particular filter. And of course, we have our typical presets. Let's just click this drop down here. And here's some presets they have for us in here. Not going to work with those today. And then we have this icon here. If you come up with a look that you like you can save it as a preset here in this trash can we'll get rid of presets and then we have a category section here this is nice and you can click here and there's abstract high impact pastel sketch and watercolor so you can go and check different categories out in fact let's do that now let's click one called high impact and see what we get and you notice it it uh it lessens our list for us so we only see the high impact type um paintings here so let's click on bold and brash and see what that looks like oh that is bold and brash okay and here's another one heavy blaze oh that looks kind of nice for a fall scene so that's pretty cool and then down below that you have style strength so you have low and then you have medium let's click on medium and see what it does makes it a little bit more detailed i guess and let's click on high now when you click on the high in the medium it sometimes Certain uh, one, certain of these images may take a little longer to render out because they're a little more intensive uh, computer processing with these higher values here. So let's click on low and it changes immediately. Let's try another one here. Let's try this guy, Tone Scrape. That's kind of fun there too. And now down below that, you have a brightness adjustment. This is the overall brightness of the image. You can make it lighter or darker. double click any of these names and get this slider back to the uh, default position then we have contrast we can have more contrast or take contrast away depending again what mood you're in double click contrast saturation you can add more saturation take saturation away I'm double clicking you reset and of course we can alter the hue so we have a lot of flexibility in here this is a wonderful box of crayons to play with and now we have smooth edge so if you take the smooth Oh, excuse me, the smooth edge and move it to the right. See how the edge gets kind of smooth? Probably using their smudge technology to give us that look, or we can take that smoothness away. So you have that to play with. You can double click smooth edge to reset it. And then we have sharpness. You can adjust the sharpness of your edges and things by moving that up or take sharpness away by moving it back. Let me double click it. If you're getting artifacts in your image, you can slide this suppress artifact slider to the right and remove some of those artifacts. 
Well, let's make a painting. So let me come up here to AI Remix, the little icon right here, and click this and reset everything. It defaults at the very first um, block here, which is a neon rise. Okay, so let's just go down through here and find something that we may like to work with. And we'll play around with the sliders and things, and you can get an idea of how this is going to work. So... Heavy Blaze. Let me click on Heavy Blaze. Let's try this one out here. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is start out with the opacity and just start to pull that back and bring some of the uh, original image back through. So see right there, that looks kind of cool. And I'll do this a lot, and I think that looks really nice. Now let's uh, click the uh, image here. And there's the before and there's the after. So right there you can see it's taking on a nice look. Now, of course, I could come down here and like go to smooth edge and smooth that edge a little bit if I wanted to. Maybe add a little extra sharpness into it, depending what you want. Let me double click sharpness. I might just like smooth the edge there a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now let's go back to opacity and pull that the whole way back up. Now let's look at blend modes. So always experiment with blend modes as well. First thing I do is like I said for my workflow is pull the opacity back just to see what kind of look I might get with that. And then I'll come to the blend modes and go through those and just hover through and they'll change automatically for you. So there's dark and that looks really nice. And here's multiply. Another that looks really nice too. Say for instance we liked multiply. Let's just click it. And now I'll take your opacity and pull that back a little bit. And look, that's really beautiful. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. When you're in this filter, you could be here for a long time because you're going to really want to experiment and play till you get the right look that you like. Sometimes I go fast, but other times I'm taking my time and really searching. But if I get something that my eye says, wow, I love that, I'll just go with it. So let's pull this opacity back up. Now let's go back through the blend modes here. Let's look at color burn. Interesting. Linear burn, darker color. Well, I kind of like that. There's lighten. Lightens up the whole image. Of course, screen makes it a lot lighter. Then we have color dodge. Not really happy with that one. Linear dodge. You're not going to like them all. And some, some of these different... Um, uh, AI emulations are going to look different on different color blend modes. Like, in other words, we may pick another one and it may look great on color, light and color, but not on this particular one. Let's try overlay. That's kind of nice. There's soft light. It's going to find one that we really like. So hard light's kind of nice. Vivid. I like the overlay as well. Let's just, ooh, that's kind of nice. Pin light, hard mix. Hmm. It depends. Maybe for something you might like it. Difference, that's pretty wild. Psychedelic, exclusion, interesting, subtract. Kind of fun. Neon colors, division, that's kind of crazy. But depending what you're looking for, there's hue, there's saturation, there's color, and there's luminosity. And there's invert screen right there. So let me come up to overlay or soft light. I kind of liked it. I think I liked hard light too. I'm kind of liking hard light. I'm going to click on hard light. Let's just work with this one. Let's say this is the painting we want to work with right here, which is called Heavy Blaze. So let me take my opacity first and just pull that back a little bit. Take a little bit of that off of there. Okay. And now maybe experiment with the style strength. So let's click on medium. Kind of nice. I do like that a little better. Let's go on high. High is kind of nice too. So between high and medium. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say high. Now let me come back to opacity and pull this back a little bit more. Maybe somewhere in there. I kind of like that. Let's click on the screen. There's our before and after. So I like it. It's going in a nice direction. So now let's play with our brightness. Let's take our brightness up. Let's take our brightness back. And I think I like the brightness back on this one, maybe right around in there. Okay, now let's play with our contrast, give it more contrast. Now I'm in a blend mode called a blend mode called hard light. So the contrast will act a little differently than it will when the blend mode is in normal. So but just play with it and see what it does for you. And I'm thinking maybe right around there looks pretty nice. Now the saturation, let's take the saturation up. Ooh, that is electric. Way too much for me today anyway. Maybe tomorrow I'll like that one. But let me come back 
and maybe somewhere in there looks pretty nice. Now we can take the hue and maybe play with the hue. Let's shift the hue a little bit. See if we like the direction it's going in. I kind of liked it in the original position, but let's pull it back. So to get it back to the original position, just double click hue and you're right back. And I think that looks pretty good. Saturation, I think I'm happy with. Now let's take the smooth edge, move it up, move it back. I'm going to move it. You know what? I'm going to move it up the whole way. I kind of like that. But let's see what happens if we add some sharpness into that. Just to give it a little bit of crispness. Maybe somewhere right in there. I don't really see any artifacts in here, and that looks pretty good. Now let's click on the center of the screen. So there's the before, and there's the after. What do you think? Kind of fun, kind of creative, kind of modern art, I think. Now, just for the heck of it, we'll remember Heavy Blaze, and let's just have some fun. Let's just come up here and leave our settings just the way they are, and I'll do this sometime soon. Let's just click through some other ones here and see if we find something that we like even better. That's kind of fun. I really like that. Very psychedelic. I'm kind of liking that. Let me see what happens if I pull the opacity up, pull the opacity back. Maybe just add a little bit in there. That's kind of fun. Aged guild mm, not so fun of fu fun <laughs> sorry not so fond of that one this one's taking a while to render here the ancient state hmm okay I'm not a big fan of that one let's try bold mosaic and see what that one does well, that's kind of fun the colors are kind of interesting in that one and of course if you get one of these and you say I kind of like it but not it's not quite there yet then go and Back to all your different sliders and play with those and readjust and have some fun. Okay, not happy with that one. But again, here's Desert Prism. You just got to play around until you get something that you like. And don't forget, you have this opacity slider because, look, you can go ahead and pull that up. And you have different blend modes. But I, I do like that with the opacity the full way up in that one. What was the one? We were on Heavy Blaze. Okay, so let me try one more here. Let's try Just Peachy. Of course, I'm in, I'm in high, and that's why it's taking it a while to go. Let's take the opacity the whole way up. That one's not bad. I kind of I kind of like Just Peachy there. And let's go back to Heavy Blaze. Now, of course, my opacity is the full way up. Okay, I'm still liking Heavy Blaze, so let me just take the opacity down. But what I'm showing you here is please experiment, because you're never going to know how this filter works unless you experiment. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I may add another filter. For instance, this is not an impression tutorial today. I will go into a complete impression tutorial, but let me just show you. Let's come up here to add filter and say we like this image the way it is. Let's come to add filter and come down to impression. This will add that painterly look to the image. So there you go. That, that's the impression on there. Now let me just take this opacity back a little bit. So see, we can change, we can change the entire flavor of the image here. Now let's come to the eyeball up here on impression. Shut that off and on. So see, we can soften it up a little bit with that impression. So you can kind of get an idea of what you can do. So for now, let me just hit this trash can and get rid of impression. So there it is, the uh, AI Remix filter. With this AI Remix filter, we went from this image to this image. Topaz AI Remix. Well, thank you everyone for joining me again on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. This was the AI Remix filter. It's a really cool filter, right? I think you'll agree with me on that, and you got to give it a try. And also, remember, you don't have to just use it by itself. You can combine it with all kinds of filters. You know, Topaz Studio 2 is your box of crayons. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Just enjoy the experience and the joy of editing. All right. If you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed of all the new training videos that I have coming out. And we're going through all the rest of these filters in Topaz Studio 2. So you want to keep informed of when those are coming out. Well, thanks everyone for joining me again today. And I'll see everyone right here next time.